Hi, CryptoTester here. Today I'm testing PancakeSwap, which is a sort of Uniswap but on the Binance Smart Chain. So, first of all, this you can configure in MetaMask, i show you how. When you arrive here, you click Connect, and you want to connect MetaMask. If you don't know how, click here, that it shows you how to connect. Here you see some instructions, how to set up Binance Smart Chain here. I show you how you go here on MetaMask, then you click here on Networks, then you click Customer PC, and then you, you have to insert information that is written here, which I already did, and I can show you how it looks like. You see? BSC mainnet, you insert here, RPC URL that you can copy from here. You put it here, Binance Chain, ID 56, BNB, and the URL of the Explorer. Then you save. And then you select a network here to work on the Binance chain, right? So you will get an address based on your Ethereum address if you already have one. And then you can go on, on PancakeSwap, then you can connect it. You click MetaMask, and here you go, it's connected. Then if you want, you can set up a profile, but I don't care about that. So if you go to home, you see different products. It looks like a game, actually. You see different farms, and the one that I wanted to try is this one. Please note that I resumed recording a few hours later, so the interest rate from 80% switched to 60%. Keep that in mind, because what you see in percent is just an estimation and it can change over time. So why I want to invest in this one? Because I think BETH and ETH, it's like uh, trading USDT and USDC. It should be quite stable, so there shouldn't there shouldn't be a big impermanent loss in this. So I think it's it's a low risk to invest in such a pool, and that's why I want to do it. So I have to go to trade liquidity and click add liquidity. Now I have to select the coin I want to give. So in this case, B. ETH, I want to provide the maximum, but first I select also the other asset, ETH, or if, as everybody says, so maximum this one, you see there is a little difference, it's not just one to one, but that's okay for now. Um, so to, now we will see how much gas I will spend for this compared to Ethereum, it's a very nice exercise, you see here, it, it's using that, that amount of Ethereum which is more or less 5 cents. I confirm. I also approve this one. Wow, did you see? That was fast. Confirmed already. So I will confirm also this one. 4 cents. Okay. So the bo both are approved. There was a glitch, did you see it? So it still showed me before to approve, but it went away now. Now, I can click Supply, and this will show how much I received, 0, 0, 0,053. I just click to, to supply this. So now, I'm supplying this liquidity. So this is the gas I will spend here. Um, here, now it doesn't show how much it is in dollar, but to know how much it is, I can just quickly go. So you go to new tab and you type the value and note, if you're used to Ethereum, you will type Ethereum to USD, but this is not Ethereum, this is Binance Chain and the fees are paid in BNB. And this currency is not famous as Ethereum, so you have to click on a converter, first result, should be okay, and paste here the number, and you see it's only 24 cents more or less. Let's just do it then. As you can see in the end, the fees were about 15 cents, not much. Okay. So I want to go to the farm. I want to go to this one. BETH and ETH. If I go here, I should click here to, to approve the contract. I guess I can do like that. What happens now?
okay oh I approved the contract now there is a button stake LP what happens if I click this one so here I can stake the LP token basically when I provide the liquidity I receive an LP token liquidity pool token and now I am staking the token basically and put it here pending confirmation again 0 0.03 gas whatever go for it and now this is a pending confirmation transaction 4 confirmed again I click it there is nothing <laughs> alright no problem you can click all you can see all your transactions when you click the address so one that I did two minutes ago here you can see this costed 15 cents five four cents 12 cents so you can sum up and see the fees and here you see you see the balance as well so the if that I didn't use is still here you can use it for me the BNB I didn't use is also here and now something should have been updated okay here it shows that it is um, staked what happens if I click plus if I want to add more huh? of course now I don't have if I click minus I can unstake it you know I just do like this and then well, probably here it will ask a confirmation it shows me um, how much it cost of course I don't want it I can reject and I click here well cool so that's my first uh, investment my first uh, liquidity providing experiment if I go back to home in the home page I don't really see much I have to click uh, farms and check the farm uh, here probably will find another a better page so thanks for watching if you wanna see what's next uh, subscribe like the video and I will for sure publish Another video about uh, PancakeSwap and other platforms using the Binance Smart Chain. Bye!